My name is Matthew Rula. I graduated in the class of 2022, and my shop at Bristol Plymouth was early child education. And so I am a preschool assistant. I volunteered at a few different preschools throughout my senior year of high school. So freshman year, I got placed in early childhood education. So throughout those four years, I spent in early childhood education. In the classroom, I did a lot of like paperwork, working on like different things that the kids would wanna do, different lesson plans, different things to like interact with the children, proper ways to speak to them and communicate. And then when I went out into the field, uh, it was a lot of hands-on. So I actually got to put those skills to test in a setting not at BP. So I played a lot with the kids. I had to interact. I had a, a different, <clears throat> excuse me, I had a variety of different personalities I had to attend to at the, in the classrooms. So you just have to look out for things like that. So a lot of the different personalities, you'll work with children. You'll, you'll obviously have quiet children, you'll have loud children, playful children. The list continues on. You just, as a, as a teacher and as a, uh, an adult in these settings of the classrooms, you have to be able to incorporate all those personalities and keep every kid in line and every kid focused on the task at hand. And you can't show, you can't treat any child differently based on behavior. You can reprimand the behavior, but you can't like scold them consistently and et cetera. Looking at the list of shops at BP when I was getting ready to apply in eighth grade, I saw early childhood education and both my parents thought it was a good idea because of how good I have always been interacting with children. Uh, me and young children have always connected in a friendly way. My sister, I have a younger sister, but when she was that age, you know, I was only five or six, so I didn't get to really, you know, have a little, little sister in preschool, but friends and family members and little cousins. I've always connected with young children. They've always connected with me and I've just always enjoyed it. Yeah, it was definitely an easy decision to make. I knew again, going into BP that I definitely wanted to take early, early child educa education. Um, at the list of, at, before final placements, I made my list of the eight shops that I explored and I obviously had childcare number one. And that was kind of the only shop I could really see myself doing for four years. I could potentially see me doing the other shops, but childcare, I definitely, definitely was the focus. And my parents 100% had my back. My mom was texting me throughout the whole day, couldn't wait for the answer. And they were ecstatic for me when I finally got it. And they supported me throughout the whole, the whole journey. Yeah, I definitely feel more than accepted. Uh, a lot of the daycares, it's a lot of women as the teachers and assistants. So being a man in child care, in the child care field is definitely important. You know, a lot of children nowadays, they don't have a father or they don't have a positive male role model in their life. So for me to be there and, you know, make them smile, being somewhat of a positive, uh, not somewhat, but definitely a, a positive role model in the children's lives. Definitely like a man that they can look up to. And a lot of the boys I relate to a lot more. I'm not saying that the girls can't, but like a lot of the boys at that age, you know, girls have cooties and et cetera. So they want me to run around and chase them or want me to throw the ball with them or other different activities opposed to a girl who, you know, they see throughout their whole entire day. I'm definitely more than satisfied, satisfied being in this field. I have truly a blast every time I interact with a child or I'm in a classroom assisting or anything. The various activities that we do, whether it's reading a book, playing outside, nap time, snack time, etc. I always have a blast and each child in their own unique way puts a smile on my face and I definitely relate and connect to all of them. And I remember a detail or two of every child at the end of the day. So, yeah. My favorite part about the job is playing outside with them. I'm very active and I enjoy physical activity. So going outside with them and playing basketball in a little mini hoop or running around playing tag or hide and seek or watching them go down the slide or definitely, definitely my favorite part of the day. I definitely enjoy that. Uh, so when the weather rains or it's snowy or et cetera, it definitely is uh, 
definitely ruins the day a, a tiny bit. I'd say the worst part of my job, um, I guess, I guess honestly, it'd just be misbehaving children, you know, in a perfect world, every child would act accordingly and, you know, uh, participate accordingly and have a smile on their face. But, you know, you, everyone has bad days. So you might get a kid that misses mom or dad. So the start of their day is a little rocky, but so, you know, in a perfect, but I also think in uh that makes the job better because again, you work with all those different personalities and it makes it a challenge throughout the day. So, yeah. Uh, not really a huge problem, but if I had to pick a, a minor inconvenience, I'd say that. Um, I would assume for the higher members of the of the working staff that they would definitely provide drug testing. But at the places I've worked at, I have not been drug tested or heard of anyone doing that. But yeah. So my advice for the freshmen, especially as someone that took a non-traditional shot, is not to follow the trend. Make your own decisions. You know, you're going to have friends that were in whatever shop we won or different. you were in a different shop, and you're going to talk about those different exploratory tracks. Make your own decision. Don't just, oh, so-and-so didn't like it, so I immediately don't like it. Definitely go in there and make your own decisions. Give everything your best effort and really see what's for you.